one constant when I build client websites is I would say 80 to 90% want a testimonial slider. And it's weird because I feel like not many larger businesses do this, but when I work with them, they do, they all want a testimonial slider. So what I've developed recently is like a, a templated section that I will use with these clients. And I'm gonna show you in this video how to create it. So what we wanna do is go into our site and click on edit. We're then gonna create a new section. So let's say, where shall we put this? Let's put it after our services. So add a section and we're gonna want something called a list section. So if I go down, usually it's in people. A weird uh, quirk is they don't have list section in the new menu system. But if you go into here, so if you click on classic editor, after a moment it will load up and down here it will actually show us the uh, list section. So I don't know why they did away with it, but they did. Um, but you can find it in here. So whatever you want to do, just click it, get a list section in there. You'll know that um, something is a list section because it will have edit content up here as opposed to a, a normal section which has edit section. So edit content and then content. We'll go into our items and then what we're going to do, and you can do this a couple of ways. You can add uh, like a five star image into the image section or you can just put stars in here. So I'm just going to use emojis for now. Uh, we'll use this one and I'll show you another trick that we can use after this. Then we'll put our title in so or, or our quote. So um, when we worked with Sam, he built us the best site of all time. One of the most tired jokes is when I say Sam is the most handsome man in the world in these. So I'm not going to make that joke anymore. I've been told many times it's getting stale. So this is the testimonial. And then what we're going to do is go underneath and then we'll put the person's name. So let me just say everyone. Great. So what I want to do is probably left align this. So let's go into design. And then we're going to set that alignment to the left. Now I'm looking at it. This looks a little bit bare. So I'm just going to copy and paste it a couple of times uh, and we'll pad this out. So pop that in. There we go. That looks good to me. Um, in fact, maybe one more because I'm feeling adventurous. Bang. Okay, great. Now we'll remove the image. So into elements, we'll switch that off. And then if we go into design again, we're going to set this to card. So style, cut card, and then we can customize the card. So we'll give it a bit of padding. Uh, let's just see. Large looks okay to me. We can make our text a little bit bigger. And obviously you can customize your site styles to change the font, size the font, etc., um, and colors. Now, if I go into content again, I'll show you something else. So in the title, if I go into here and I say star, copy and paste, we can actually get a better symbol. So uh, here I'm on fssymbols.com forward slash signs forward slash stars. And I'm going to grab this one here. So just click, copy. Um, I think we're on this one. Okay, great. And then we can put that in. Now, I prefer this because it just looks a little bit less tacky, to be honest, than these. So we'll use this one as our example or a second example. Put the quotation marks in there and we'll just say that was by um, Bob R. Great. Now, I'm still thinking, okay, this looks a little bit small still. So if I go into text size. We can have a fiddle around with this. And if we press press the uh, three, three dots here, we can make our rating much higher or much larger, should I say. And we'll pull this item description up a little bit. I'm also thinking that these look a little bit cramped. So you can change that too. 
if we go into size and space, and then we can change our space between items to small, medium, or large, or we can go between columns and between rows with a bit more granular control there. Once you're happy, hit save. And the final thing I'll show you now is if you want to make these yellow, you know, like the classic yellow stars, what we'll do is we'll go into site styles. So under pages and styles, we'll go down, we'll find our list section to make sure that it's right. We'll go into colors. Then we'll find what our palette is here. So we'll click on lightest one. And we're going to want to change, I think this one's simple list. So I've clicked on this and you can see list section, section title, card title, etc. Now, weirdly, oh, actually, I think it is showing. So card title, let's see. Yeah, perfect. So we're going to go into custom. And we're going to find a yellow color that we like. Mm, they look a little bit nasty. So I'll go into the hex. I know a good yellow color. It's kind of like a gold. And there we go. Now, that looks absolutely awful on that background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the card background as well. We can change that to a darker color. And then we can change our description, which is this text, to white. And now you can see we've got our testimonial slider here. If we scroll down, there we go. Now, if you want to change this into a slider, you would go into edit content and design, and you would change this into a carousel. You would then get rid of the image. You would get rid of the button, the button again, and then we can get to customizing this. So in our design and style, we can put another card on and give it some large padding. And then we can work through everything that we've just done. So let's move those to the bottom and give it some space. And then let's put some distance between these. So do we want an infinite scroll? And do we want to show the adjacent slides? I always like to show the adjacent slides. So let's go back into design, size and space, not size and space, style. There we go. And then we can toggle these on again. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe I was right first time. Oh, there we go. Perfect. So you now have a sliding testimonial um, bar like this. One thing we need to finish off with is changing the color. I mean, if you want, you could roll with like simple um, color palette colors. So this site obviously has a color palette. We can go with that no problem. But I just like that yellow look um, for the stars. So what we'll do is colors again, lightest one, click on our section, and now we have this. So let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Interesting that that doesn't have that. So if I go into my title, I'll give it the hex code FFD600. We can change the description to white. But one thing is it doesn't show unless my eyes deceive me. It doesn't show the card background. So what I'll have to do is click on show all and we're gonna search for list. That is gonna take us down here to carousel. It should find our card background. Uh, da, da, da. There we go, card. Maybe I'll watch this back and I'll look stupid that I couldn't see that, but now you can see how we've got our testimonial slider. How uncool is it that I have to keep scrolling down to show you this? Anyway, there we go. So if you want to use this on your site or on your client's site, then that is how you create it. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.